DaVinci Resolve for noobs. A lot of you know that the studio version of DaVinci Resolve allows you to do automatic AI generated subtitles and captions, but the free version doesn't. But you can import your own subtitles and put those in in the free version. Let me show you how. Now YouTube creates subtitles for you automatically if you upload a video. So I'm gonna just take one of my videos, go to the details page, click on subtitles, and I've got captions right here that are already made. I could edit them if I want, but these are pretty good. I'm gonna click on the three dot ellipsis and download these subtitles. Now in my downloads folder, you'll see there's a caption file here, but it's an SBV file and unfortunately Resolve doesn't support this file type, but I can go right online to something free like gotranscript.com. I can choose to upload a file, put it here, choose the output, let's go SRT and convert, and it'll immediately convert it and put it right back in my downloads folder. Now inside of DaVinci Resolve, all I need to do is right click in the gray area of the media pool on the edit page, scroll down to import subtitles, find that SRT file and it'll bring it right in. Now, if I left click and hold and drag it down into my timeline, you'll see it creates its own subtitle track. It's not writing over anything in my project. It's creating a new subtitle track that's gonna sit above everything else. Let me select all of these subtitles and push them all the way to the left to make sure that they're lined up. Now I can look up in my preview window and I can do some adjustments to this subtitle track. The text is a little bit large, so I'm gonna go to the track option. I'm gonna go to transform, and then I'm gonna go down to the zoom and I'm just gonna shrink that a bit so it fits a little bit better. Any adjustment I I make here will affect all of the subtitles in this track. I can change the position so it's a little more down towards the bottom. I'm gonna put a background on there just to have a little color behind it so it separates it from the video. And now when I play through, I'll have all of my closed captions with the timing exactly where I need it to be because YouTube handled that for me. And I've got closed captions from inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve for noobs.